here's a shot of the four acre lot that is included with the purchase of the automotive shop as you can see all the dirt work's been done it's leveled it is zoned for residential or commercial all right welcome to the channel running my truck in to get the oil changed and service all that good stuff uh, it's easier to do taking it in putting it on a lift i don't like laying on the ground no more so hoping to get this done where they're calling for one inch of rain and flash flooding whether we get it get any or not i don't know i looked at the radar i didn't see anything remotely close to that but who knows what pops up the weather is unpredictable anywhere you live anymore so i'm um, just gonna take the truck in i gotta stop and pick up some coffee and then i'll be back but I'll, i'm gonna film some stuff up here we're going to take a look at them body mounts on that I had put on this truck. Probably retorque them. Because after 500 miles, that's what the manufacturer says you should do. So I'll see what he says and we'll check it out. Let me get around this curve and I'll shut the camera off. Because this is a big curve. And yeah, my hair wants to flip to one side. I don't like that. Uh, what was the other news? Boy, did I, <laughs> did I skate, not skate, I didn't skate through it. I avoided a big issue. Well, the other day, let me tell you about this. The other day we got a, I got a uh, donation for the rescue for $1,000. So I filmed that on my other channel. I filmed me doing the transfer. But in the midst of that, I didn't realize I was transferring money from my checking account instead of the PayPal balance so right after I transferred it I looked at the PayPal balance and said $10 okay oh cool it went through what about an hour later I check again there's thousand dollars back in there and I look and I'm like ain't nobody sent a thousand dollars and the next day I get to looking I'm like I can't touch this money because obviously they made a mistake you know they're gonna banks will find those things if they make a mistake so I'm gonna leave it right where it is and then I got to looking at the transaction where I sent it to the rescue it came out of my checking account and then I went back and looked at the video and it says clearly from my checking account so yeah I'm not videotaping that stuff anymore Woo! and had had I not noticed it and it's not easy getting it put back in your checking account quickly and I had to pay like a $20 fee to do it in minutes and I was able to transfer the balance of that into my checking to cover the thousand dollar donation and it went through this morning so if I had to discover that yesterday oh god I got all these automatic payments that come out uh, on the 4th every one of them would have went back and that would have cost me a fortune so tragedy avoided lesson learned and paypal can trick you like that you got to make sure you read everything when you're making i mean i've never had any troubles with paypal but the issue is you can't call paypal you can i've been with them 20 years but it takes forever and it's not you know but I, there is a way you can transfer it immediately but you got to pay a fee of course so i got the money back in there uh and the rescue has it they had it all along because i had the money i had the money in, you know in my checking account but that goes for other things like bills you know my electric starling come out of that and insurance so tragedy averted I'm behind Slowy Slowerson. All right, I gotta get off here. Behind Slowy Slowerson from Slowerville. All right, folks, I am back from getting my truck serviced, and uh, as you've seen in the title of the video, uh, a friend of mine has a automotive repair shop located in Waldron, Arkansas. Uh, he's been there. They moved from out of state and he retired from a, uh, a place, not going to mention where, 
But anyway, they they started, him and his wife started a shop. It's been very successful. Uh, I believe it's been about 12 years now he's been in business. But now they're getting to the age they need to retire. They want to retire. And so they are selling this shop. And I'm going to tell you, it is a great opportunity from somebody that wants to get out of a place that has went downhill. Uh, we're in the Washita Mountains. It's beautiful around here in Arkansas. Uh, the shop is fully equipped, fully equipped. He's got four lifts, and they're all heavy-duty rated because uh, the shop is also set up for uh, to work on heavy-duty trucks and equipment. So he has all the uh, lifts, and they've all been replaced in the last few years, so they're all pretty much new. He's got new tire machines. He's all fully serviced, uh, for, uh, fully set up for tire service. Uh, he does a lot of tire work. I uh, got the balancers, the uh, the you know the tire machines. I believe there's two of them. One's a Snap-on. I know, and I believe he buys Snap-on machines. Two hundred thousand in in tools. Of uh, he's going to take just enough for personal use, so the rest of the tools will come with the shop. And I actually worked for him for a while, so I know he doesn't buy cheap tools. You know, Snap-ons, uh, things like that. So it would be a great opportunity, and every shop here in this town is busy, busy, busy. And let me tell you why, because people aren't buying new cars and stuff anymore. Around here, they really never have. People hang on to what they have, and they just get them repaired, and so all the shops have more business than they can handle. And he has one of the biggest shops in town. It has five bays, and out of the five, four of those bays have lifts. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a full service shop for automotive and heavy equipment. So and it's ready to go. I mean, you just walk in and start working. And the customer base has been established for more than the years that he's owned it because before that it was an automotive repair shop. So there's never been a lack of customers. In fact, he has to turn a lot of people away or there is a long waiting list. Uh, he works alone. Uh, if a guy was to buy that and have maybe one or two other mechanics, you could make a lot of money. And this is just a feeler video. Uh, if there's anybody interested, I will leave my email in the comments or in the description. You can also go to my about page. My email is in there. Or leave me a comment. I can put you in touch. Uh, serious inquiries only. Uh, it has to be somebody that's ready to ready to buy because there is somebody interested whether or not that goes through or not i don't know it, right at this point nothing nothing has been uh, written in stone but he's interested in in selling it and uh and he's ready to turn the keys over so if you're out there looking uh you're in one of the bigger cities you or and you're looking for a place uh in a smaller town the safer well this is it and i will tell you um that you know we don't have all the crazy things going on here that that are going on in some of the cities and even the smaller cities it just doesn't happen here and uh the only thing he doesn't have in there is an alignment machine but that you know there's one in the shop down the road and they they've worked out a deal to where if he needs an alignment done on something have to change some front end parts uh they just they worked out a deal where where he takes it down there so it's not like you can't get things done without that so that ain't got nothing to do with the price of rice but anyway there it is and the videos you're going to see after this are videos of the shop now i will say that it is set up in the you'll you'll sh you'll see where I show there is a spot in the just in the rear of the shop you could bring in a travel trailer park it it has plumbing it's already there there's a pex coming out of the ground plug into that it has a power pole and a septic tank and there is a vacant four out four acre lot that is zoned for housing or uh, commercial and it, this town it's pretty easy to work with them here uh we don't have all the codes and all the crazy stuff you get in a lot of these uh, other places so this is a very good opportunity for somebody wanting to start their own business it's business is already there you just gotta set up shop 
you know, put your name on it and go to work. I mean, how, it doesn't get any better than that. So, like I said, contact me. If you're really interested, I will put you in contact with him. And that's it. Uh, this is a great deal. I mean, 400000 you're basically getting a vacant lot to build on. You could put, he wanted to put a uh, oil lube place there, but you know, like I said, they want to retire now. It's the, all the dirt work's done. It's completely leveled. I watched them do it and it has the, the spot for the RV and the city is not going to hassle you for parking an RV there. That's the good part. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Y'all remember this truck? Yeah, still got her. There she is. Look at them tires, still brand new. Boy, that chocolate milk jug ought to smell good in there. <laughs> there it is, dog man. He's gonna need a bath. new battery she ain't pretty but you gotta hang on to what you got now we'll get her back pretty soon he said everything's looking good getting the tires all rotated no oil change body mounts are good retorqued that's what I had to change last time What would you say if I told you I knew of a very busy automotive shop complete with four heavy duty lifts, a total of four acres, one is a vacant lot, I'll show you that in a second, with tools, most tools, he's taking a very small amount, he's been collecting all his life snap-ons everything for four hundred thousand in a town where the cost of living was low what would you say to that let's go outside and take a look at the rest of it here is a shot of the four acre lot that is included with the purchase of the automotive shop as you can see all the dirt work's been done it's leveled it is zoned for residential or commercial. So you could buy this place, build you a house right here in this rural town and your business would be right there. And over here, you're surrounded by pasture with horses and cattle. Here's the shop. You have five large bays shop goes back to, or the land goes back to this uh, fence now the, the shop sits on one acre itself complete with video surveillance system and it's ready to just start working and this is a very very busy shop currently uh, one man is working in it he's ready to retire so this is a perfect opportunity for a mechanic to set up shop this town is so busy all the mechanic shops it takes a long time to get something done because of the lack of I mean it's just a, the sheer number of people versus mechanic all these shops are busy 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 I've got mine in there right now getting serviced but this is a good opportunity guys so if anybody's interested I'm gonna come back and do a detailed video on this shop Everything you see, five acres, the full shop, tools, the lifts, everything. He's only going to take one box of tools, and the rest of them are going to stay. We'll get into that in the next video. So look at this land here, four acres. And you could also, he has had a, his sister 
had a trailer back here. There's full electric. There's septic also back here. You can pull in a travel trailer right here. There's a pad for one. And there's the electrical hookup. It's plumbed. Water. It has water, electric, and septic right here. And you get a nice pond when it fills up. But here you go, guys. You, and it has a separate line here. Can't beat that. You get your own dumpster. All right. And this is a very, very busy shop. And it could be even busier. Located in Waldron, Arkansas. Very, very low cost of living area. Surrounded by the Washita Mountains. And it comes with an office complete with the computer surveillance system, air conditioning. Now the automotive shop is located just one mile from historic downtown Waldron. We will be passing through that in a second. Now there are other interested parties, but as to right now, nothing is Nothing has happened for sure. You know, this is just a... I think there's... Fourth, close to 4,000 people in this town, but the county is a pretty big, uh, pretty big county, so there's probably, I don't know, close to 10,000 people. Pretty, pretty simple living here. You don't have your high crime like you do in the cities. This is downtown. Got some coffee shops there. There's a pawn shop, a movie theater. I believe that's also for sale. Just small town America, cafe. And as far as competition, there is an automotive shop, right? We just passed it. And then there's one more up here. They all stay busy. Uh, the shop I showed you in the video, he, is had, he has a lot of loyal customers that he is convinced would stay for anybody new that would take over. Pretty, he works with the other shops in town. Uh, we got one shop that has the only alignment, so if he needs to get alignments done, he'll send them down there. Uh, they all work together and get along. Here's the other shop. As you can see, he's got a parking lot full of cars as well. But there is a need, and it's always been that way here. Uh, it's always been that way. So. If anybody's interested, I'm going to do a more detailed video uh, in the next coming weeks. Alright, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. This is the fourth day of Dogtober. I'll say it again, I am donating 50% of my proceeds to Furry Tales Rescue. So, all the views and likes would be appreciated. Uh, again, if you're interested, you know somebody that's interested in getting the heck out of the hustle and bustle of the city and as a mechanic this is a good deal so i thank everybody for watching and it wouldn't be wouldn't be a video without miss rooster would it you're out here barking at them stray dogs running yeah there's some stray dogs in the road they shouldn't be and today we're supposed to get some thunderstorms up to an inch of rain eh, that may be later tonight i don't know we will see so if it starts raining i ain't gonna have a lot to do today but check out my other channel washita mountain living i'll be sure to get some fun stuff on there today and uh, i appreciate everybody watching for the month of october uh it's not easy putting out two videos a day uh, but i'm getting it done so hopefully we can raise enough revenue to help them out and uh well, that's always good because as you can see 
you see the dogs in the road there's no there's no shortage of dogs in need anywhere around here so thank you for watching happy trails